This conference will now be recorded. Good afternoon, all of you. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So only 93 members are uh, there. So we'll wait for two more minutes, okay?
am i audible or not yes or no yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma this topic is just one second so today's topic is i'll just share the screen sorry for sorry for the delay is the screen visible is the screen visible or not oh, white screen is visible ma'am so today topic is red eye can anyone tell few causes of red eye whatever you know about red eye just few causes of red eye allergy to people to speak to it is conjunctivitis very good anything else clear scleritis yes. scleritis scleritis and episcleritis right anything else any other causes which there will be red sorry trauma span trauma so anything else angle floor anything in india is yes, somebody speaking iridocyclitis no very good so acute iridocyclitis anything else uveitis ma Acute iridocyte. Yeah, iridocyte is the same thing. Glaucoma. Yes, yeah, somebody is speaking. Yeah, correct. That which type of glaucoma it is? It is all type of glaucoma. Sir. Yes, very good. So angle closure, glaucoma. Right? Anything else? Any other causes? somebody told me conjunctivitis anything uh, related to surgeries uh, cornea said sorry somebody is speaking see even though it is wrong it's okay you can speak out recent surgeries lasic or uh... so post operatively right immediate post op you will have some congestion anything else corneal ulcers very good so cornea they can be ulcers right so what are the various types of ulcers you know anything related to lids can you tell something related to lids causes so so i'll just uh, include one slide you can speak out if you know anything else regarding leads or you know what is end of thalmitis does it have congestion yes or no yes ma'am yeah so in the similar way anything else which causes congestion so pan of thalmitis right so pan of thalmitis and end of thalmitis 
So these are all some of the causes like acute iridocyclitis, trauma. In trauma, the most common is subconjunctival hemorrhage. Conjectivitis, whatever may be the type of conjectivitis, scleritis, episcleritis, angle closure glaucoma, postoperatively, and in cornea ulcers, whether it can be bacterial, fungal, viral, whatever it is, ulcers, right? So other causes, pan and end of thalmitis. So the most important reasons of reason for red eye is some lead pathologies. Okay, so like blepharitis, you know what is blepharitis, right? What is blepharitis? Today I will not speak much. You people are going to speak oh, much. Not. What is blepharitis? Inflammation of the eye. Inflammation of the eyelids. Is it inflammation of eyelids? Or margins. Isha? Eyelid margins. Inflammation of the eyelid margins. Most common cause of blepharitis is? Which is present in the hair and it will trigger blepharitis. You are supposed to speak today. I am not going to speak anything. Nicely in the afternoon classes, you are sleeping. Hmm? Come on, tell me what is the most common cause of blepharitis? Infection. Oh, what something is there in the hair which will come and fall and trigger blepharitis? Most of the people, especially females, will be having that problem. Sorry? Yeah. Somebody is speaking. I told you, even though it is wrong, it's okay. I want you people or to speak. Itchmites, itchmites or headlights. Headlight. Sorry, that's not the answer. Dandruff. Dandruff, ma'am. Dandruff. So, dandruff, ma'am. Yeah, triggering causes dandruff. Okay. So, blepharitis. Sometimes this blepharitis will even spread to the conjunctiva, causing blepharo conjunctivitis okay so when we have blepharitis we will regularly continuously we will be rubbing the eye okay when we try to rub the eyelid margins this blepharitis will even cause irritation of the conjunctiva leading to blepharo conjunctivitis okay so other is allergy of the eyelid margins okay because of if you don't clean properly, if you don't have, if you don't uh, follow proper eyelid hygiene, there may be allergic reaction leading to also congestion of the eyelid. So anything which is uh, related to lid uh, margins, which causes redness of eye, anything related to lid margins, anything related to eyelashes, can anyone speak about this? Related to, lead margins. related to eyelashes. What is trichiasis? Inward turning of the eyelid. Inward curling of the eyelid. Only inward turning. It is abnormal position of the eyelids, eyelashes. Okay. Abnormal position and abnormal direction of the eyelashes. Okay. So if it is turned inwards, then it will go and touch the cornea and conjunctiva leading to leading to irritation. So the eye becomes red. Okay. So this is tricky acids. Anything related to lead margin? I think you people know pretty well. Anything related to lead margin, I'm talking about margin. Come on. Which is related to I'm a lead margin. Okay. What is entropion? What is entropion? Yes. Inward turning of lower eyelids. Inward turning of the lid margin. Okay. So in the similar way, the opposite is. What is the opposite of entropy on? Somebody had answered in the chat box that is inward movement of the entropy. Ectropion. Ectropion. So outward 
this direction uh, outward direction of the eyelid margins this is related to margins okay even these two will cause red eye how it will cause now coming to entropia when there is inward turning of the eyelid margin the eyelashes will go and touch the cornea right the eyelashes will go and touch the cornea further causing irritation which leads to congestion of the eyeball red eye okay so how ectropion causes can anyone tell how ectropion causes redness how ectropion dust causes can redness? be accumulated dust can be accumulated exactly. no? because of it's not accumulation it is because of the continuous exposure of the bulbar conjunctiva to the air and environment which leads to congestion and also because of outward turning of the eyelid margin the uh, tears will not get drained into the lacrimal drainage pump system okay because the papil which is the punctum which is there it will get turned outwards so that the tears will not get to drain into the lacrimal system because of accumulation and stagnation of the tears also there will be irritation okay in this there will be debris uh, the accumulation of the debris also because of that also there will be irritation which leads to red eye very good now these are all related to conjunctiva sorry eyelids now coming to conjunctival causes of red eye i am going from anterior to posterior right so conjunctival causes of conjunctiva uh, the sorry red eye the most common is conjunctivitis right most common is conjunctivitis anything else you can say regarding conjunctivitis uh, sorry congestion of the red eye anything i am very it's very good that you have told conjunctivitis anything else which causes red eye many things are there two more things at least you can say most important cirrhosis ma'am sometimes even conjunctival cirrhosis can lead to because of dryness it leads to congestion okay why in dryness because we will try to rub the eyelid so the eyeball too much when there is a dry eyes then we will have redness okay anything else very good i know i got four causes foreign body yeah foreign body that is that comes under trauma okay that comes under trauma very good but anything else which is very common which is one of your short questions short answer sorry short cases in Allerg your practical uh, allergies ma'am allergies uh, yes allergies i am giving you clue but you are not able to get it which is your short case in your practical exams anything start Trachoma. with p starts with p so starts, starts with p which is very good pterygium it is a inflamed pterygium will cause red eye okay you see in inflamed pterygium cases right i think you people doesn't have any practical knowledge because of this uh, corona okay so inflamed pterygium and one more thing is pingicula okay all these things will have cause red eye okay all these things will cause red eye in conjunctiva now coming to sclera next part is sclera already somebody told that it is episcleritis and scleritis right so these two will cause sclera uh, redness of the eye red eye so what is the treatment for episcleritis and scleritis tell me if you uh, call the uh, treatment Hmm? What is the treatment for episcleritis and scleritis? You people are supposed to speak. We are using corticosteroids or anesthetics. Topical corticosteroids. See, people are uh, seeing in your mobile. You are Google. Uh, you are googling it, and you are telling us. Uh, hmm. Okay, so NSA is corticosteroids, the most common treatment we use. Okay, so next coming to now sclera is done. Now coming to 
cornea tell me causes of cornea red which cause red day there are many causes for pin cornea four five six come on sir sorry ulcers no corneal ulcers first one is ulcers so it can be anything bacterial viral fungal right hmm what other causes any other cause does anyone in your class wear contact lens hmm sometimes contact lens can cause the fluid itself it got expired or something like that it may cause irritation leading to red eye right next is most common is dry eyes okay dry eyes will cause red eye any other causes in cornea corneal edema uh why corneal edema will be there does cornea itself will have some edema or because of some other reasons in the posterior aspect there will be corneal edema okay usually we don't get corneal edema on the normal basis if there is something raised in iop then only we will get corneal edema or if sometimes there is some stromal pathology deep stromal pathology not superficial most commonly deep stromal pathology then only we'll have corneal edema but because of this we will not get because of this stromal edema there will be no much raise in iop which leads to red eye so usually this will not have significance okay so any other causes which cause related to cornea exposure keratopathy ma'am exactly dry eyes and exposure keratopathy or keratitis so any keratitis like you know viral keratitis fungal whatever it is any keratitis acanthamoeba keratitis any keratitis can cause any inflammation of cornea can cause red eye right now after cornea what we will go into anterior chamber tell me few causes which cause red day in anterior chamber anterior chamber angle closure glaucoma angle closure acute angle closure glaucoma okay very good anything else trauma hemorrh yes somebody is talking about hemorrhage any so, ocular okay. any ocular hypertension yeah ocular hypertension so you want to tell can you be specific so somebody is talking about hemorrhage so if there is hemorrhage or blood in anterior chamber what is that condition called hyperma very good so Hi. when there is high fever there will be red eye why there will be red eye in high fever because this blood for example i'll show you so this is pupil cornea if you see this is all high fever this is all high fever right so what happens when there is high fever like this you can see here there is all trabecular meshwork right sorry little bit closer this is all trabecular meshwork so in this part the aqueous drainage will not occur right so in this part the aqueous drainage will not occur so there will be no drainage right so when there is red or decrease in drainage there will be increase in iop right 
so there will be increase in iop when there is increase in iop obviously there will be redi right so so this is about hyphema okay so any other causes any other causes it somebody told okay now we we'll, after anterior chamber we will go with iris causes somebody already told me that anterior uveitis right so so uvia this iris anterior uveitis now coming to trauma which is the most important cause of red eye so in trauma what are all the causes you know regarding trauma which cause red eye come on come on speak trauma that causes red eye foreign body sensation blunt trauma foreign body it's not sensation it is foreign body fall either in the conjunctiva either in the cornea or in the upper lids whatever it is then it can lead to redness okay so anything else any causes are there any chemicals like acids or alkalis ma'am yeah so chemical injuries very good very good chemical injuries anything else okay i'll tell you the shortcut s c h what is this subconjunctival hemorrhage ma'am very good so yes, subconjunctival hemorrhage we will have red eye okay so what is the treatment you want to give for subconjunctival hemorrhage do you want to treat the patient with subconjunctival hemorrhage or not hmm anti vagus drugs not at all required okay so subconjunctival hemorrhage what is subconjunctival hemorrhage when there is when the patient is hypertensive which is not under control or the patient is having sudden sneeze cough with raise in the pressure inside the eyeball then the small conjunctival blood vessels they will which are very fragile they will break and cause leak of blood okay so this is subconjunctival hemorrhage if you people are well known in telugu kaunku debba antam you will get a bluish discoloration when you hit some uh, table or something like that okay so that is subconjunctival hemorrhage do you do you usually treat that kanku uh, debba or ecchymosis which you can see around the eyeball you will not treat that right so usually subconjunctival hemorrhage no treatment is required but because of satisfaction of the patient we will give some placebo therapy like you can give tear drops or some antibiotic just only for the satisfaction of the treatment it will take even though you treat or you don't it will take depending upon the size of the subconjunctival hemorrhage about 15 to 20 days so there is no need to treat a patient with subconjunctival hemorrhage okay so you have to counsel the patient that it will take some time don't get worried and you have to give some placebo therapy so these are all normal things which you have told about red eye now i'll tell you few rare things which will cause red eye the first one is orbital cellulitis what is orbital cellulitis what is orbital cellulitis so itis means inflammation so inflammation of orbital tissues like extraocular muscles conjunctiva okay so these all things will have inflammation okay so for this orbital cellulitis you need to give iv antibiotics 
okay it will have the patient will have restricted extraocular movements okay proptosis will be there sorry the patient will have proptosis extraocular muscles restriction okay lead edema will be there all these things will pair in a orbital cellulitis so you have to give antibiotic therapy so so i already told you about end of and pan of thalmitis right so what is the basic difference between this end of thalmitis and pan of thalmitis you are supposed to speak what is the difference between end of thalmitis and pan of thalmitis speak speak what is the difference between end of and pan of the name indicates end end of and pan pan means whole that is both external and internal tissues get involved in pan of thalmitis so in in end of thalmitis internal structure so we are retaining internal, internal, internal structure what happens internal tissues will get involved in end of thalmitis the external tissues or they will not get the external layers or tissues will not get involved okay so this is the basic difference between end of thalmitis and pan of thalmitis now coming to this red eye sometimes they will ask you a question what are the painful causes and what are the non painful causes now coming to painful non painful i will tell first okay so you can remain remember all, all others as painful only two causes are there which will which are non painful that is subconjunctive so subconjunctival hemorrhage and sometimes conjunctivitis okay so this conjunctivitis not all the times but sometimes conjunctivitis and subconjunctival hemorrhage always it will it will not be painful at all conjunctivitis sometimes it can be painful so only these two causes are non painful remaining all are all painful causes of red eye okay now coming to when a patient comes to you with red eye what you are supposed to do first one you take proper history take the history of any trauma or any systemic diseases okay so any systemic any history of pain the patient is having okay so any blurred vision is there with the patient so etc etc remaining history as usual which you take normally sorry so take proper sorry okay so after taking proper history next first is history right after history check the visual acuity of the patient okay so always visual equity after that go with touch light examination why touch light examination is important can anyone say why touch light examination is important so in touch light examination we will have overall outlook of the patient i okay So you'll have an overall eye. You can see calasian. You can see sty. You can see blepharitis. You can see some any conjunctival discharge is there. You'll have a basic idea first when you see through touch. Okay. After that, go with slit lamp examination. That is it. So you will go with slit lamp, slit lamp exam. Sorry, slit lamp examination, and you will see the points to be noted. First, we have to see. How are the lid margins are? Okay. After lid margins, how are the lashes are? How the lashes are? After lashes, 
we are supposed to see outside outer uh, skin over the lid also sometimes you are supposed to see after that you see for extraocular movements followed by extraocular movement see the conjunctiva as usual sclera cornea okay anterior chamber you always search for foreign body also everywhere over the eye lobe you have to evert the upper eyelid and see for any papillae any foreign bodies okay any concretions any follicles all these things we are supposed to see by inverting the upper lid okay so anything is there so papillae follicles all this related to allergic right sometimes foreign body will be there in the upper lid when we invert the lid only we are able to see that also in the cornea sorry i forgot to tell you also in the cornea along with ulcer we have to see if any epithelial defect is there okay if any epithelial defect is there we are supposed to see so if a patients come to you with epithelial defect what is the treatment you are supposed to give so what are the treatment you are supposed to give what treatment you are supposed to give fast 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 do you want to start steroids do you want to start steroids no ma'am very good so if there is any epithelial defect never start steroids never ever start steroids okay always start the patient with antibiotic ointment and drops once the epithelial heal defect heals then if you want to start the uh, steroid you can start so regarding lens can you tell me one cause of red eye you have to be fast time is over i think only 3 minutes left regarding lens i forgot about regarding lens any red eye cause hmm or i'll give another clue any other glaucoma you know which causes red eye in uh, uh, relation to lens sarcomorphic glaucoma any lens induced glaucomas can cause red eye okay Phacomorphic, phacolytic, most common causes. Okay, these can cause red eye. Very good. So, lens-induced glaucoma also can cause red eye. Okay, so this is all about red eye. Do you have any doubts? So, I'll ask you only two or three questions. If the patient is having diabetic retinopathy, does he have red eye? Does he have red eye? a patient with a diabetic retinopathy will have red eye or not i told you even though it's wrong it's okay mm -hmm. yes ha huh? yes or no yes ma'am the patient will not have red eye because unless the patient is having pdr from that pdr patient had vitreous hemorrhage from that vitreous hemorrhage there should be rise in iop then only it will cause red eye which is very rare okay so one more question if the patient is having c r v o central retinal vein occlusion does the with the patient can develop red eye yes or no no ma'am Yes or no? Sorry, it is yes. this. Why? When there is CRVO, there will be neovascularization from the retina. The neovascularization will spread through the angles onto the iris, which is called as sorry, sorry, which is called as neovascularization of iris. okay so because of this neovascularization of iris 
there will be raise in because the iris this neovascular new blood vessels will block the trabecular meshwork which leads to raise in iop further leads to red eye got it so when there is crvo there will be neovascularization within the retina so this neovascularization will spread through the angles you know what are angles right from that angles this will spread to the iris leading to nvi that is neovascularization of iris so these new vessels they will block the trabecular meshwork so when they block the trabecular vessels decrease in drainage of the aqueous will be there which leads to raise in iop so there will be acute closure glaucoma leading to red eye okay hope you people understood it is a little bit about red eye any doubts i think time up okay i am closing the session thank you ma'am thank you ma'am